The boy next door to me had ridden with Patton across Europe. The boy across the street went in on D-Day plus four, hanging on to a machine gun on a half track, and he said he was four miles inland before he could pry his hands off the half track. He was scared out of his wits. The boy Caddy Conard had been a medic and had survived the battles in Europe. And we would just sit and listen, we wives. We learned more about our husbands and what they did by listening to them exchange stories. But I realize as I've gotten older, this was a healing father. The dynamics of war are so absolutely intense. The drama of war is so absolutely emotionally spellbinding that it's hard for you to go on with a normal life without feeling something is missing. Now, I have had a wonderful life. I have a family that just is ideal and uh, I've enjoyed my life. But I find there are times when I am pulled back into the whirlpool. I find that the intensity of that experience was so overwhelming and almost intimidating that you can't quite let go of it. Laverne, Minnesota. All week long, with silent night running through my head, I've been groping for a Christmas story. Somehow the story always eluded me. A lot of servicemen have been and they told us where they spent last Christmas overseas. But you didn't need to write a story about them. The story of their happiness about being home was written all over their faces for the world to see. And now comes the time when it comes our turn to extend our Christmas greetings to each and every one of you. May the joy of Christmas and a big share of its peace and beauty be with you all every single day of the new year to come. Al McIntosh, Rock County Star Herald.
To learn more about the war, visit pbs.org. To order The War on DVD with additional features, a companion book with over 400 photos and illustrations, and a CD soundtrack featuring music from the series, call PBS Home Video at 1-800-PLAY-PBS. <laughs> <laughs>